Who taught me how to make baskets? My grandmother. Watching my grandmother. My name is George John Sunnyfest. I was born in November the 2nd, 1936. I think about four or five. Four or five. Four or five, my grandmother. Sitting with alongside with my grandmother. And I, I was watching how to make the baskets. And it amazed me, she took uh, maple, sugar maple. Took a heart out, not that big one, about the uh, two and a half inches diameter, and about five, four feet long, three feet long, and that sugar maple. And cut that in four directions. Took a heart out and took, and not working on it, just a little just a knife, making strips, set right down, and all the white, all the white, small little baskets. How you do that, Grandma? And I'm watching her. You want ready to make one? Go ahead. So, you had the uh, small little strips, I think eight strips, trying to make it, make the wheel, like a nest. Tell me how to make it. The bird nest, you know, round. Beat the rock, round. Birds didn't make a round nest, he said. So you make that. Then try to make it. Not right. So that's how they started it. And then forget that. That's still that's what I'm doing today. Why they make the baskets? Life was very hard then. And they survived by making the basket, creating the food for the baskets. It was hard then because no money anywhere, no work and nothing. The Second World War is in there. That's, that's what I remember. That's the, and that's how they trade. They trade to make the basket. They trade for the food. Um, and there's a lot of it. The farmers here across the river, and they they created the basket for the potatoes or carrots or turnips or cabbage and anything like that. They created them and still, and they turned them out in the barn up there and they, they kept them in that. And some of them they kept, uh, kept pretty good shape after a hundred years or something like that. They're still the beautiful baskets. Potato baskets, pack baskets, rib baskets, potato, uh, picnic baskets, and also fancy baskets now and then, and nice rib baskets, and also the uh, egg baskets. And I learned, I didn't make them all, all that. And something in the clothes baskets and hamper baskets. <laughs> That's the type of baskets I have for making the baskets. That's, and I can't keep them. I don't. Uh, I don't sell them. But when I um, when I go somewhere for the workshop, I take it with me and I put them out there. And the people they amaze how beautiful baskets they make, they see, and they they love my work. Right now I'm using the uh, black ash. There's a hard, soft wood I use. So every every tree you cut, you offer tobacco, tobacco, because you're taking the life from that tree, and it's going to work for you. If we don't do that, the tree will be howling. Ow. Black ash. <coughs> he was as a soft, 
soft hardwood, that's, and he pound that. And he pound that with the, uh, with the hammer and thing like that, it just breaks apart. You pound it this way, put the pressure on your arm, on the, After all that pounding, that's what I have right here. Now the preparation with the, I'm gonna shave this. This is a very rough texture on it. Now with this one, I shave it. When I, when I work with the uh, ash, this uh, grain is almost near 1 16th of an inch. And it's too thick to work with. So I put it right in here. And then, after that, I use it with the uh, splitter with the... Uh, fine shape. See that? <laughs> now I'm gonna make the base. All that preparation I did now to make the bas small basket bottom. I need uh, 10 pieces. Make sure we have a 10 pieces on this year. Otherwise, if we have nine or 11, you cannot make it. They cannot make a bottom because it's impossible to make it. So, what I'm gonna do right now is make a cross, five crosses. One, two, Over and under. Now, a space in here. We have to move a little bit over the next one over. Tuck in. Tuck that in a little bit firm.
and it doesn't work. I'm always, I want, when I make one basket, I want to make it better than the next one. I'm trying to do that. My baskets are good, but I want to make the better one the next one. <laughs>